Oh no! <gasps> this game is horrific! Welcome to GT Not Live, where I'm in a house and we're playing a game called House. And uh, I used to watch the show House. And one of my favorite songs growing up was the song Brick House. And that's all the house things that really come to mind at this point. There's um Full House. Yeah, yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Full House. Isn't there like a like a board game called House? I'm sure there must be somewhere. Monster House. 13 Dead End Drive is what comes to my mind when you say house. Mouse. Mouse, mouse. Trap. Maybe you're thinking Mouse Trap, which rhymes with house. Blouse. B blouse type of shirt. We're doing really good at this. We're, we're, we're solid, man. This is quality content right here. Uh, what, Matt, did you, you're, you're a person who watches things. Did you watch House? No. Okay, that's fine. I was too young to be watching House, I think. Sure. I, I can see that. Yeah. Absolutely. I wasn't as big of a fan. I watched a couple episodes. It was kind of repetitive to me. Steph watched, like, all of it. Really? Loved it. Yeah. That makes sense. She was also, yeah. Like, like she was in grad student. school for, like, medicine yeah. and, like, differential diagnosis and, like, is it lupus? Because it was always lupus. Or that's all what they always started with. Like, is it lupus? Became a running joke of the show. Uh, it's true. Yeah. Um, became kind of the meme of the show. But, uh, but, yeah. House. That was a thing. What else? What else do we got, man? Uh, you know what? We don't have to banter. We can just hop into the game. Whoa. It's pretty you wild. Mean we're going to play the game? <laughs> well, based on how some of our playthroughs go, I, we, we need to get as much time as possible to get through, like, any modicum of gameplay. Yeah. We could talk while we play the game. That's impossible. <laughs> That's I not... could talk and you could try to respond with the half of your brain that you're using okay. not to play the game. Not to play the game? Yeah. But then you don't get as deep and insightful conversations, man. I feel like we had something we were going to talk about. I did too. What, what, what were you going to talk know. about? Shoot. Oh, hmm. Myers-Briggs types. Oh, yeah. We did. Yeah. We were going to do that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your Myers-Briggs personality type, man? Well, guess. Uh, let's see. You are a P for sure. Okay. You are an S. Hmm. No, you're not an S. We, you and I wouldn't get along as well if you were an S. Um, shade to all of the S's. No, it's not, it's not shade to S's. It's just w if there is a personality type that I... Um, that, that I have a harder time working with and yeah. I just need to be aware of mm -hmm. is... S's because the whole cha the channels are hardcore N, right? Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, Myers Briggs, uh, we've asked you to do it in the past, and like we've gotten responses of like five hundred thousand people who've taken the Myers Briggs oh, wow. personality test for us in the past for for episodes, mm -hmm. um, and so I know basically our audience's personality breakdown, which is so cool. Um, and the one thing overwhelmingly is that our audience is N. Yeah. And especially I am, so introvert. Oh. So it's E versus I, which is extrovert, where, like, you love being social versus I, which is like, hey, I like being quiet and to myself. Yeah. Um, N versus uh, S. So S is, like, sensing the immediate world around you, um, you know, and being very present and in the moment versus N, which is like, hey, I take data and yeah. I, like, extrapolate from there. Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, and that's the channels, right? Like, yeah. I think that's one of the big reasons why some people really like the channels and some people really don't like the channels is we're very divisive on, on that part of the personality test where we are all about, let's take these five data points from a Mario game or let's take these six data points from, like, FNAF or whatever and extrapolate a story from there and, and yeah, it might be a stretch or, yeah, you might be, like, jumping the shark or whatever, but, like... It's for me. It's fun to extrapolate, and I think for a lot of the audience, it's fun to extrapolate. But some people are like, "No, that's that's not the text." Like they are very much rooted in like, "This is what is presented to me. This is the fact that was given to me." I don't like that idea of like reaching for stuff and trying to like take the story where it goes. Yeah. Um. So N and S, and and just historically, like N personality types are ones that I'm just more comfortable. Like I understand their work style better mm. than S's. Okay. Um. Then there's F and T. So that's feeling versus thinking. Um, 
which is, you know, that uh, are you more emotionally driven or are you more like thought based and like like to think through it? And then lastly is uh, P versus J, which is perceiving versus judging, which are weird words for it. But uh, basically J's are I like things on a schedule and I like things kind of organized and like by, by the book uh, versus P, which tends to be associated with younger people who are more go with the flow. Uh, they like to kind of be in the again, it's, it's more unstructured. Uh, more kind of like letting things flow. Yep. Um, so for, and usually I'm pretty good at identifying it. For you, you're, you're interesting. Uh, I feel like you're an F. You kind of, I, I feel like you would probably split J and P, mm. knowing what I know about you. Yeah. Um, or at, at the very least, if you're a P, which I could see you being a P, you work well in a J environment yeah. uh, with with structures and deadlines and stuff, and which works well for us because I like we have. As you get older and as life has more and more commitments, you ha it basically forces you into a J. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of adults tend to be J. Mm -hmm. um, intuiting versus sensing again, like it's interesting. You split a lot of them actually, yeah. which is really like I feel like you ride a middle line in a lot of these. Yeah. Um, which is why I'm having a hard time pinpointing you because I, on one hand, I see you being a sensor, but on the other hand, you are you are good at intuiting things and you're able to uh, good at piecing together the the puzzle. So I'm just perfect, is what you're saying. You you are everything to me, Matt. You <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You are everything to me. And on a, and he, I mean, here's the thing, right? For me, I split EI. Like oh, my yeah. person, you asked about my personality type. Mm -hmm. I split EI. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm about fifty fifty. Yeah. Uh, and I split FT. Um, where I'm about 50, yeah. 50. Can I guess what yours is? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, I just told you 50% of them. Well, so, yeah. You know. But like, yeah. like if you're taking the test, yeah. you're ENFP. Uh, actually I'm ENFJ. Really? Actually I'm EN. So I flip between F and T. Interesting. ENF. J, J super strong. I'm very strong J. Oh. Mm -hmm. I need, I need, oh, that makes I like, sense. I like the structure okay. and order. Um, and I'm, and I'm very strong N. Like, N and J are locked. Gotcha. It's the E and I and the F and T that I am about 50-50 on, and it kind of depends on, like, okay. where I'm at in life. My well, guess yeah. was solely just because most theater people, yeah. strong ENFPs. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're totally, the feeling and the perceiving, it, it flows with, E is theater because you're yeah. extroverted, you're performing. Um, and N is always the interesting one. Uh, F is feeling. So if you're an actor, you're, you're mm -hmm. perceiving the emotions. And then P is actors like you kind of, and I think that was one of the reasons why I realized that I had to get out of theater yeah. was being out of a job every couple months and having to audition again. Like it's fine for a certain personality type of like, I just like to go with the flow, but I needed more reliability and constants in my life, which yeah. is why I think I struggled with that part and why I wanted to pivot careers. Mm, so what are sense. you, man? I am split E I. Yep, 50, makes sense. 50, yep, uh, N F P. N F P. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are F. Yeah, I, f I figured you, you'd be you F. You kind of nailed it. Right. Actually. Good. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, and it's on a like I know a lot of people are like all oh, personality types just tell you the stuff that you feed in. Yeah. Which it's it's true. Like I mean that's how they work. Right. But I don't know. To, I like the Myers Briggs a lot because of stuff like that. Like yeah. I can see people and I know like based on your behavior and what I know about you, like I can get a sense of kind of where you would fall. And so it helps, it helps categorize things in a, in a cleaner way than like, here's a big massive personality. Yeah. Um, and it also helps me understand how to relate to people better too, where like when we hire on new people, a lot of times we'll have them take it just so I know. And historically, like I said, like people who are S's mm -hmm. are the ones that historically I've struggled the most at connecting with and understanding how to motivate them and understand what they need to get out of their job in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, and so that's why if you look across our team, a lot of us are all ends, mm. um, which is interesting. That makes sense. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so that, hey, we were going to start the game and then we definitely got onto a tangent. Uh, in an upcoming, I don't know when this is releasing, but in an, up, oh no, it'll be later this week. So it might've already happened, but we have a Carnage versus Venom film theory that I was working on. And... Um, we talk about the other big personality type thing that's very popular nowadays, which is the ocean model, uh, where they break you down via the ocean metrics, which is like openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, oh, a, 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 and then neuroticism is the last one. I forget what it is. Uh, I'm, I'm not as familiar with that one. We talked about, just because we've talked about Myers-Briggs a lot, we actually used ocean for 
that Carnage versus uh, Venom episode, and it also just fit with the the episode a little bit cleaner. Uh, but it's it right now Ocean is a very popular one for designing algorithms um, and targeting you based on your online behavior with ads. Sounds scary. Oh yeah, it is. It is definitely Big Brother scary. You know post-apocalyptic hey we know how neurotic you are and we're going to target our ads directly to you because of your neuroticism it's weird man anyway hey we're playing house i don't know anything about this game so cool <laughs> there it is I, I what matt tell me please just give me like a two-liner thing uh, it's like a an 8-bit horror jump scare type great great i did see markiplier's thumbnail about this one yes. again like I watched, I watched some, some of Markiplier's stuff. Not all of it. I'm sorry, Mark. You, you produce a lot of it. Um, and so I am, I've seen the thumbnails for this one, right, where there's a monster and it's like eating a little kid. That's, yep. that's all I know about this game. So there we go. Wake up! Hello, small child. She, she's, an, she's an eye. Mm, control. There we go. Ooh, look at those flounce of sleeves. So, the reason I say she's an eye is she's, she likes the baggy shirt. This is actually one of the things that, um, why Myers-Briggs is helpful. Uh, we learned through your personality profiles, actually, that because a lot of you are eyes, and IN specifically, um, we designed the merch to be slightly oversized or a little bit bigger, so that way you have those longer sleeves and can, you know, hide your thumbs in it and kind of hide your hands, which is a thing that, like, I personality types tend to appreciate out of their clothing. It's also one of the reasons why we kind of talk, we change the way we talk about clothes, where it's less about looking cool and more about feeling comfortable with yourself. Uh, and that's why we've, you know, designed, we, when we work on merch, we do a lot of different things, but that's, we've tried to tailor the stuff that we make more to kind of like your interests and, and kind of your desires. Um, and so, yeah, thumb hole, that's why more of the things that we have are thumb holes, hoodies, snuggly things, oversized things, so that way you can look like this girl. Uh, and, and also better fit with your personality your, type. The Game Theory hoodies are, like, specifically very comfortable. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and I mean, one, we, a lot of other YouTuber merch just is, like, low quality and, like, I just can't. I just can't. I, like, I'm not calling out people, but, like... I know the business. I've learned a lot about merch from doing the merch, and I, I, I just can't with the business model. Like, yeah. they just get a bunch of, like, blanks, and then they just spray stuff on them. You, you can't do that. Like, I, I, I value our brand too much to, like, just sell. And I, I, and I value you guys. I'm, like, if I'm spent, because it's expensive to buy this stuff. Like, if I'm asking you to pay a lot, like, I want you to get something that's really nice. Um, but exactly to your point, like, so I want it to be high quality, but then also exactly to your point, like, I want it to be snuggly and warm and like cozy, so that way you're comfortable in it and you want to keep wearing it. So, yeah. You know, well, that you know, works. Maybe we should do a 12-part mini series like Shane Dawson on <laughs> on how to create that merch uh, or whatever. I am wearing it right now. That's there you go. How comfortable it is. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. And also, or how cold the house is. One of the two. It's both. <laughs> you're the one who sets the thermostat down here to like 50. I don't know. Hey, let's play a game. I, I pressed one button. We woke up. Uh, here, can, A, read. Moving day. Ever since the move, I sometimes can't tell if I'm awake or if I'm dreaming. The days are starting to blur together. Hmm. All right. Ooh, TV. Oh, my favorite show. Static. Let's turn that off. No, thank you. I love this art style. Oh, man. It's already eight, six. Oh, my gosh. Look at how fast time is going. This is stressing me out. We've been sitting here talking about Myers-Briggs personality types and we've wasted the whole day, Matt. The whole day. Oh, hello. 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 Spooky. What?! <laughs> Hold on! Chicken out! What did we miss?! <laughs> I'm sorry! The game is like, what are you doing in your room for so long? We're just going to rip you in half. <laughs> that has got to be a new record for fastest, most unexplained death of all time. Can we try this again? Let's try this again. Let's wake up. Okay, let's, let's actually move quickly. We're going to sprint. Oh, see, look. When it's 
when you actually, you know, make progress in the game, things happen at a time that you would expect. As opposed to a giant shadow monster just happening there. New journal entry. I died. It happened very quickly. My journal entry. Ooh, the toilet. There's something in there. <laughs> I might want to flush it. I can hear it whispering to me. Really might want to flush it. It wants me to do horrible things. Mm, maybe it will stop if I listen to the horrible things. Oh, this is concerning. Oh, this is this is a very alarming game already. Flush. Bye bye. Just double flush. It it sounds like that one. <laughs> the, the thing in the toilet that's telling you to do horrible things might deserve a double flush. Just saying. Hey, there's a there's a human being in this house. Let's talk to my mom about these feelings I'm having. Good morning, sweetie. Don't come in here. It stinks. Are you t is that another bathroom? Because I just flushed. I, I just flushed over there. I think it helped. Oh, there's other children, too. Hey. I hate this room. Want trade? I hate this house. I hate mornings. I hate this room. Okay, I hate my life. I hate everything. I hate myself. I hate it. Okay, cool. Cycle. Use. Boom. Here, I gave you some light. Okay, well... Might want to leave the room then. <laughs> I encourage, if you do not like the room, I encourage you to leave. Oh, Shadow Man. Oh, okay, you're over there. I can't open the door. Good to know. Hey, if I turn this off, does Shadow Man get stronger? Hmm. Weird. This is wild. All right. Ooh, I got a bowling ball. That's super fun. This rug was moving. I'm gonna put the put that on the rug. I don't trust that rug. That was a suspicious rug. Meow. Can I pet him? I cannot. That was sad. Hey, mom. Hey, did you know I got ripped in half by a shadow man a couple minutes ago? Have you met the neighbor? She's very flexible. What an odd compliment. <laughs> She's very, in terms of her schedule, in terms of as a personality type, or like physically, she is very flexible. I'm concerned about that one, but sure. Uh, what do we got? I can pick up what? Pick up. Pick up. No. No. I, apparently I cannot pick it up, so I'm just going to close it. I don't want the milk to spoil. Uh, Alright. Ooh, that's some sketchy uh, sounding scratching right over there. Oh, hey, there's... I'm gonna... I saw the shadow person again. You never liked my music. Go away, Tabby. Oh. Am I a ghost? Am I a ghost? No, my mom talked to me. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, no! I was trying to push the piano! Oh, no! Oh, can I, can I talk to her? Can I help her? No! Meow, meow, meow? I love that there's always a cat helper friend in these games. Also, this is really sketchy back here. I really want to know what's going on back here. What happened? Oh, the lights are off. Ooh, a key. This is all very concerning. What about this big empty, empty thing? Ooh, unlock. Mm, this is a sketchy room. What is this? Pot. Empty back. Oh! What the heck? Okay, we're just gonna gonna run around here. Ooh! Oh, I have an axe. <laughs> oh no! Just got munched. Oh jeez! What is this game? I kind of love it. This is really fun. Uh, man, my family is in a dire, dire way here, Matt. This is, this is, this is not a good situation we have going. This is terrible. Moving day. Moving day sucks, man. Okay. Let's check our toilet. Let's flush. Let's double flush. Because I don't want to deal with anything telling me to do evil deeds coming out of the toilet. Uh, hey. 
Okay, so everyone's still asleep. Interesting. I wonder... I cannot go in here yet. Huh. Oh, hello, Mom. Good morning, Tabby. Don't worry about this room anymore. Hmm. Mom's having some weird issues, huh? So it seems like this is probably trying to prevent things from happening in the game, maybe? Like, I get the sense that this is setting up, like, dominoes. Like, can I push this, maybe? To prevent my sister, I assume, from dying? Hmm. No, it doesn't seem like I can do any. What if I... No, that doesn't work either. Hmm. Nothing down here. And I can't go in here until the piano falls because the cat doesn't move. Is there something else I can do with the cat to move the cat? Interesting. Oh, this is wacky. Pour. So I have milk. There's this puddle on the floor, which I don't... I'm a little... Ooh. I think this is going to cause my mom to fall and die. <laughs> I I worry that my mom is going to slip and die on this on the spill on the ground, which to be honest, I just made worse by throwing milk on the ground. Maybe not the best decision of my life. Huh. This is wacky. Please calm down. I know you're hungry. Oh wait. Oh she Oh, this game is so sad. Oh, this is tragic. Mom. I'm trying to play, leave me alone. Wait, no! I wonder if I annoy her enough if she'll leave. I wonder if that's what it is. If I annoy my mom. Oh, this is wild. I like the bowling ball being there. I feel good about the bowling ball being there. I also like grabbing this axe and running around the giant rat. Nope. Nope. Be gone. Okay, so he's stuck. So now... Oh, nope. That's... Okay, we're just, we're just gonna go this way. Bye. Oh, no! Oh, no, Mom! Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, gee! No! No! Swing! 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 Mom! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Oh no! <sighs> this game is horrific! For like 8-bit pixel art! Oh, this is wild! Everyone is dying so quickly! And I too am dying so quickly! Okay, so we gotta get into the secret room, huh? We gotta figure out what the secret room is. Ooh, new journal entry. Dying! At first it hurts, but I'm starting to not feel it. Can't even tell what's real anymore. I've woken up on the same day three times in a row. Okay, so it's great. We got a death counter now. Fantastic. No pressure. Flush. Flush again. Start every day off right, flush in the toilet. So I cannot get up there. Is there somewhere I can put the bowling ball? So the rug appears in this room. Does this rug also move? How do I prevent my mom from dying? Is there a way? What if I just put a bo bowling ball over this puddle? <laughs> Maybe she'll be like, you know what? I'm gonna avoid this bowling ball. Here, I'm also gonna grab this and I'm gonna pour it on the... <laughs> Maybe this will lure the cat away? Oh, <gasps> what if I lure the cat away? Yes! Oh, buddy! Now we're starting to figure out things. 
I have an idea. Okay, evil rat. Evil rat. Okay. Totally fine. Don't care about the evil rat. Yes. Yes. We're going to keep everyone alive. Okay. Can I destroy this? It does not appear like I can destroy this. Ow. Wait. What's that? Is that a bullet shell? What is that? Oh, wait. I can charge up. Oh no! I just killed my sister! Oh no! Oh, no! I was aiming at the piano! No! Oh, no. well. Well, she's gone, but not forgotten. Okay. Oh no, Mom! Why did you avoid the bowling ball? Oh, Mom. Oh, Mom. I'm so sorry. Oh! Oh, that picture. Oh, this is horrific. Look at it. Oh! Oh my. This is so scary. This is so intense. Chicken out. Chicken, we're getting chicken out. Oh my gosh. This is wild. Oh, man. Each room is, like, unexpectedly horrific. This is wild. So, hmm. Do you want some background? Oh, um, on the game? Yeah. Sure, let, teach me. So, essentially, there are several endings. It seems like there might be, okay. Around 11. Oh, nice, an, an 11, great. Depending on the actions that you take in the game. Okay. You get to different endings. Okay. Uh, using the items that are in the house. Sure. Makes sense. Yeah. That wasn't really so much background as it was like... Giving you a directive. Yeah. I, I, I feel like... Look, I, look at how much progress I'm making. I saved no one. But I did kill my sister. <laughs> progress, man. Progress. I have a feeling there, there's got to be a way to save both your sister and your mother, right? Probably. I would assume. Yeah. I was figuring, I was figuring it out. Was I really that bad, Matt? I think I was doing fine. Was Thank you very much. Sure we were on the same page. Does it not look like I'm trying to play the game appropriately, Matt? I get the sense that you don't think I'm trying to play the game appropriately. Here, I'm gonna flush the toilet. I don't trust that toilet for a, the, a life of me. Okay. So the milk is the cat. The bowling ball is something. Uh, okay. How do we? How do we get mom? to avoid water on the ground there, you know? That's my question. Hey, cat. Okay, so he can't wake up yet. Is there anything I can do with this? The rug is very suspicious, I gotta say. Mmm, sketchy. Hey, cat. Wow, don't you want that milk? It looks so yummy. There you go. So I noticed the shadow creatures, which seems like, oh, there you go, which seems like it's doing, okay, there's this guy, I'm gonna sprint, 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 okay. What do we think? So we couldn't destroy, okay, can't destroy that. I how do we prevent mom from dying? I am not sure. Hey sis. Hey sis. Don't, don't, don't play the piano. I encourage you not to play the piano. What's that? Okay, this is clearly a thing. Use. Okay, that's using the light switch. What's in mom's cabinet? Pick up what? What did I get? Dress? Items. Bowling ball. Shot! Ah! The shotgun! Great. So I've got a shotgun, which... Oh, jeez. 
that painting is horrific. So we get a shotgun shell down here, don't we? Well, my sister's gonna die, I'm so sorry. Right, this is a shotgun shell. Yeah, okay, I, I know, it really. Hey, cat. There, we got one shotgun shell. If I can shoot one thing, what is the thing that I shoot? Hmm. Uh, not great. Did you see the person in the window? Yeah, oh, just, yes. Absolutely I did. Okay. Okay. Shoot, shoot! Oh, I tried to shoot it! It didn't work. Huh. Yes, I saw the thing in the window. Yeah, no, I, there's, there's horrific stuff all over man it's it's terrifying um let's think about this did the bowling ball seemed to have disappeared didn't it did you notice that i did not but i believe you i didn't see where the bowling ball went to at that point for that run okay this is all stamina management where do i want the bowling ball i feel like the bowling ball is going to be important for the trap door Because we need to be able to get to the trap door somehow, right? And right now, I wasn't getting any sort of option to like open the trap door. So this is gonna be here. I'm gonna pour this out. Boop -a -doo. So when he wakes up, he'll be there. I need to. The axe really holds me back. Whoops! No, I don't want sticky keys. The scariest fate of them all: sticky keys. Now, oh, my poor mom. Maybe if I throw off people's time. Oh, I have this pot too, that's right. What's the pot for? What would we need a pot for? Oh, oh, I know what the pot's for. It, that, that helps mom. The pot is the thing that's gonna help mom, 100%. Because the pot is the, um, the thing that we're gonna collect the rainwater with. Oh, buddy. Is this dad? Is this my dad? What is this? Did my mom kill my dad? <gasps> also, why can't I? You would think I would be able to engage with him in some way. I'm so sorry. But do you have a key in your hand? Is that a key? Oh, hey, there we go. What's, what's the thing that I just got to aim? Is it a, it's a slingshot? Okay. Right? It's a slingshot? Slingshot. Okay. Huh. That's to shoot. Okay, well here she comes. She's gonna come at me. Nope! Slingshot did not work. We have not figured out how to get rid of that one. Shotgun, maybe? I didn't get a f I didn't get to fire off the shotgun last time. Or is it just sprint out of the room and she's just really fast? We're making progress, though. We're getting there. I'm feeling good about this now. Toilet. Flush. This is intense. There, there's a lot that you have to do really quickly, it seems like. Unless, again, we're doing it completely wrong, which, hey, no surprises there. That would be very accurate to how we play games. Okay. Bada bing. Still don't know how to save our sister. Maybe at some point we'll figure it out. Maybe bowling ball allows me to do things a little bit sooner. Maybe bowling ball will let me... Boop. No. <gasps> Whoa! Hold up! Hold the fo- I- Hmm. <laughs> okay. Ooh! Oh, that wakes up the cat early! Oh, yes! Oh, this is so exciting. Where's my key? Okay. Okay. Mom, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save you, Mom. Okay, here we go. Yeah! Okay, that's collecting water now. Hopefully I don't need, like, a towel or something. That would be unfortunate. Okay, here comes the rat. 
Okay. Get out of here. Ooh, there's the dowel up there. I wonder if that dowel, if I drop the, the bowling ball, if that'll do something. The thing is, I just need to get out of this sequence to avoid that, like, really fast. Okay. Bowling ball. Drop. Here we go. Shotgun. Axe. Swing. Pick up. I don't know what else is down here that I really will need, but sure. Uh, what is the goal at this point, though? I know Matt's like, hey, there's a bunch of endings, but... What am I hoping to accomplish now? So I've got a slingshot. Girls, I made sandwiches. Come and get them. Okay, okay. I've got... I've got my bear trap. Hey, Mom. Sandwich. So... My sister's definitely dead at this point. That slingshot, where'd you find that? Huh. <laughs> I don't think your father would like you playing with the gun. So it is my dad. Careful with that, that's your father's lucky bowling ball. And my father's definitely dead in the basement. Get that thing away from me, darling. The bear trap. And then what if I just talk to her? Howdy there, partner. Your dad is coming home soon. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Guess you won't be eating with me. So rude. You've been in the basement. Careful for the rats in there. Oh, mom! Mom has got a dark secret, man! I'm gonna stick with mom. I'm curious where this is going. So I got a bear trap, which... Oh, hey, Mom is... Hey, Mom, you doing okay? Did she, like, pass out? Hey, wake up. Hey, wake up. Oh, I can shoot it up. Okay, so that's going to help me get something out of the... Hmm... Oh, no! <gasps> oh, my God. This is so crazy. This game is crazy. I also don't have my shotgun shell, I remember, unfortunately. I'm going to set this up. I, I, I just want to survive the night right here. I just want to see what happens if I stay in one room for a little bit. So I, got, I got my slingshot. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm, oh, no. What is that? Is that the cat? Did the cat die? Is that the cat? What is that? This room is locked now. Who? hey. Oh, this is cr Oh! Hey, daddy's home! Yay? Hey, are you? Oh, okay. He's he's definitely got a knife. He's definitely got a knife to kill me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna uh, shoot him. That did not help. Oh, this is this is this is this is terrible. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! This is like the most horrific things ever. I don't know what to say, man. This is... This is horrific. I am speechless. Wow. It is so scary. This is terrifying. It is so simple. But so effective. Wow. Wow. How are we doing time-wise? I feel like that's a good place to wrap for now. Like, yeah. we've made a lot of progress. Like progress? I don't know. We've learned a lot. So mom, I don't trust mom because uh, we've got, got a dead body in the basement that ain't making me feel too great. 
We've got the rat. So let's think about this. What do we need to do? Does the sandwich contain sleeping pills or poison? Because after eating the sandwich, she got knocked out. Yeah. So I feel like eating the sandwich is potentially death. So maybe you feed the sandwich to the rat, which knocks out the rat. Well, I think we use the bear trap on the rat. I thought about that too. Mm -hmm. There's a couple possibilities with the rat. Because I think we need the slingshot Mm. to get the doll off the shelf. Yeah. In the in the basement, right? Because mm-hmm. I noticed the doll on the shelf there. I'm trying to think of what else we need the like slingshot for, mm. but it seems to be up there. Mm-hmm. This is crazy, man. <laughs> the alternative is we could use the bear trap to capture my sister's leg, so she doesn't get crushed by the piano. I maybe <laughs> you know. Hey, I know I just sliced off your leg, but. You don't know what could have had, you you know. It might look bad, but trust me, it's better than the alternative. It's 12 minutes, this is 12 minutes all over again, isn't it? We are stuck in a time loop again! I can't escape it, Matt! It's all time loops, it's all time loops. Uh, So far, this one makes slightly more sense than 12 minutes. (laughs) Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Let me know down in the comments below what your Myers-Briggs personality type is because that is a fun test that you should absolutely take and it's it's useful to know. Um, Wow, I I am so curious where this game is going. That was, this is terrifying. So anyway, uh, (laughs) super spooky. Uh, This is good for Halloween too. This is good for like October. I like it. Look at us, almost programming for the season. Go figure. (laughs) I'm sure this was totally intentional the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, daddy's home. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. Stay safe out there. Watch out for those mom sandwiches. Don't know if you trust them. And, And if anything starts talking to you from the toilet, you just flush it down. You just flush it down. Flush it. See ya.